Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is a new week, but it's actually Thursday. If you watched last week's vlog, you will have seen that we had some tradesmen in the house just doing some damp proofing on the front of the house. I feel like there's been, because the, these guys were only supposed to be here for a day or two, and I feel like there's been some sort of co-conspiracy against me because what has turned out from being just a tiny little job has now turned out to being that the entire basement has been waterproofed and is being plastered. And I said to Simon, because he's always wanted to claim the basement for himself, and we don't show you guys the basement very often. In fact, I think you might have only ever seen it once because it's grim. It's literally like Monica's cupboard where she stores all of her crap times a million. It's grim down there. Um, and he's always wanted it to turn it into like a little mini gym. And yeah, I feel like this has just been done without discussing with me. So that's what's going on. So the tradesmen are still here. They're not actually here at the moment. I'm just waiting for them to turn up for this morning. I think today is the last day. So they've been here for, if today is their last day, it will be a week and one day. Um, so yeah, it's been a much bigger job than I kind of thought it would be. So not really a lot has happened because we've had to stay home because the dogs don't like people being in the house. Luckily it's been like warm weather so we've been able to have the like back door open and we've been able to sort of have them out in the garden. But yeah, nothing really interesting has happened. So plan of action for today. I have an exciting delivery hopefully arriving today and that's from Vestiaire a new sneaky little purchase, which I'm so excited about. And again, there's a little mini story to go along with this new purchase. So when that arrives, I will unbox that and share the glory with you all. I have another bag, which I'm gonna show you all, but I'll wait until the vestiaire one comes so that I can kind of do them together. Um, then we're going out for lunch this afternoon, which I probably won't take you guys with us because we're going with family and we like to keep that like private. Um, so we're going for lunch this afternoon and then we just have to make sure that we get back for, well, I think we're going for dinner. So I'll have to make sure we get back for Love Island because it's heating up in the villa right now. Um, so I've waffled on enough and I know Simon's going to be like, you've waffled so much. Um, I'm going to make the bed because as you can see, it's not made. And then I'm going to head downstairs and make a cup of tea. Tea is made, now for some breakfast. Hmm. Yes. Will you just have a look in the sink before you wash your hands? Yeah. The other sink? Yeah. Have another look. Yeah, what has made a freaking nest in the sink overnight? A massive spider. Yeah, that one that was up there yesterday. Yeah, fabulous. That's great. Great news, that. And also, there's another one over here. Can you see it? That tiny little dot? It's made a web here in the basement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to show you all that because there might be some of you that really don't like spiders. It's this is why we need to keep things closed. What are you doing? I was just seeing if it was that one. Here's that one. Oh, great. Hello. The time is 20 past three. It's going to get really bright in here, so I'm going to be ready to turn it down. Um, the tradesmen have just left. They've just run us through all the bits and bobs that they were doing, and everything looks really good. So I'll show you guys that later. Not that you would have seen that it, what it looked like before because we never showed you in the basement, but you'll be able to see kind of how it's transformed over the next, I would say, couple of months. Now, on to the 
more interesting segment of this vlog. My vestiaire parcel arrived and I was waiting for the tradesman to leave just so that we had silence so that we can unbox in peace and tranquility, which is what we deserve for such handbags. Now, I said to you guys earlier that I had two bags to show you, so I'm actually gonna start off with this one, which I've already unboxed and I've already opened because this arrived earlier on in the week. And you know what? I'm gonna set you guys up over here because when I did that net -a porte unboxing, this little area over here worked quite well for a little net -a porte unboxing. Are we good? Are we good like that? Right, so this is what I have received from a brand called Eleme, Eleme, Elimi. <laughs> Please send me the correct pronunciation for this brand. Um, so this was a gift, very, very generous gift. This is one of the best perks of this job, I have to admit. Um, now they've actually sending me two bags, but the other one has been delayed. So this is the first one that I've received. This is called the Raisin, and I have it in the taupe leather and navy leather colorways. Is that not beautiful? So it's got gold hardware and this design, you might have seen this all over Instagram. Lots of girls have got the raffia version, um, which is what I have en route. Um, so inside you can see there's like a, can we see that? Like a little, what's that called? Like a climber's clasp and that undoes and then you can access inside the bag. So there's a magnetic oop, popper thing there and then we've got inside the bag so we've got a shoulder strap so that you can carry it on thy shoulder and then inside it's actually really roomy in here i'm just going to take out the stuffing but i'm going to keep that because i like to keep the stuffing in my bags now inside we've got lots of my hair which seems to be shedding everywhere quite a roomy compartment actually and this bag I believe comes in three different sizes I think or is it two different sizes I think this might come in two different sizes but there is a mini version it's just not called the raisin I'll leave a link to the website down below in the description box anyway if anyone wants to check it out and then I've just spotted which I hadn't seen before the brand which is stamped can we see this I think it's picking up my face but the brand is kind of stamped in there. Hope you can see, we won't know until we're editing this. So there we go, that is the LMA Raisin Bag. I'll link that below for anyone who is interested, but I can't wait to wear that. And thank you so much, LMA, it's such an incredibly generous gift. Now, this is my vestiaire. Um, parcel which can I just say I'm just going to cover up my address a minute so that I can show you guys the box this is the only thing the only downside in my personal opinion to vestiaire and that is that the packaging is not great to be honest with you now I haven't opened this up but so we've got vestiaire dust bag but that's literally it. So in terms of like being <laughs> sustainable and stuff, that's definitely sustainable packaging. Like it's literally just a cardboard box. Um, they have used sellotape when they could have used paper tape, but you know, but there's just no padding and I can feel the bag is in here and there's no padding on it at all. Um, so that is my, my one niggle is I just feel like the packaging could be a bit more protective because this has come all the way from Australia. So are we ready for this? Oh, a dust bag within a dust bag. Baba! Okay, that's your hint. That is your hint. So I'm going to undo this. This is all been tied up nicely. We've got the vestiaire tags on here this tells you who has inspected your bag and what else does it say what condition matches description origin has been verified so it's like this is like the authentication verification so if you ever order anything off bestiaire keep these tags because i always keep those tags especially if i go on to resell re-resell the bag 
Now inside. <laughs> I feel like this is like another Celine unboxing. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this is the Gucci Lady Web bag. And when I was on the shoot with Marks and Spencers the other week, the art director had this bag and I saw it lying on the table in this exact colourway. I've been looking for this bag for years. Not quite as long as the Celine box bag, but for years. And I grabbed it. <laughs> I've never stolen anything in my life other than like some hotel toiletries. But I was seriously considering stealing that bag. <laughs> joke obviously but I said to her oh my god where did you get that and she actually killed me with her answer she said she got it from vet from not from Vestia sorry I ruined the mood of that story didn't I um she got it from Bista for like 500 quid Ugh! okay so this I ended up paying full um full price with all the fees and stuff and also because this came from Australia I had to pay customs charges but I paid £764 with everything all in. So shipping, customs fees, authentication, all of that jazz. So I think this was, what did I, I made an offer for this for 600 and something, I think. Um, I'll have to double check and I'll write the details down below. So that's what I got it for, but it's brand new. So as you can see, there's no, <laughs> as of yet, it's obviously suede, so you can see all these like suede marks on it, but that's just the nature of suede, as I'm sure you all know, but it's brand new, which I'm overjoyed about, and I'm probably sure it's not gonna look brand new for long. But the thing I love about this bag, because inside we've got straps, yes, straps, you get two options. So you get the matching one, which is this suede, and it's got all the like horse bit details on or you get the classic Gucci web and this is a strap which I feel I'm probably going to use most so I'm just going to attach it on so you can see right so I've put it on crossbody because I feel like that's a really good demonstration of how to wear this bag look at it it's a really good size I love this strap and I kind of went off Gucci a little bit just because I found that their styles were, like their newer season styles, were getting a bit leery. I don't know if you guys will know what that means, but I used to use that word a lot when I was younger, but they were getting a bit loud, a bit too sequiny and colorful and uh, And this one is just a very classic style, I personally feel, and I feel like it fits in well with my style. So I think this was a very, very good, Bye. Well done, Emma. Um, so yeah, that is the bag. Right, we are now gonna head out to lunch, so naturally. I'm gonna take my new bag, and I've shortened it, and I'm gonna wear it as like a little shoulder bag. I have just given it the biggest spray. Where is it? It's over here, hang on two seconds. With my protector spray. For anyone that's ever asking, sorry it's back to front because I'm in the mirror. This is the protector spray that I use for suede and leather. It's by Dasco. You can probably buy it in Timpsons maybe, but you can also buy it online at Amazon. So what am I wearing? Usual two Senko necklaces that I've been wearing a lot. Usual two Misoma earrings that I've been wearing a lot. I'm going to put my watch on in two seconds, but it's just in the case over there. The t-shirt is from Topshop. That is where it is from, Topshop. Bag, obviously Gucci by Vestia. Um, and the jeans are, I'm so sorry you're not going to be able to see, because basically my OOTD mirrors, the long full length mirrors downstairs in the lounge, are no longer there because of all the work that's being done. So. Apologies, but the jeans are like a cropped, I hope you can see, cropped wide leg. They are from H&M and then I've got my Hermes Orens, Oren? Orens, Oran slides. Good afternoon. It is quarter to one. It's Friday. Ooh, ooh, Friday. Feeling fancy, feeling fresh. I don't know, I felt like Friday needed some sort of little song. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, Simon and I have just got back from Greenwich. We've just been doing 
um, some pictures of today's outfit that I've been wearing, this very floral summery dress. And we wanted to get back quickly because it's the men's semi-finals of Wimbledon and I don't like many sports at all. Literally there's like two sports that I like, tennis and baseball and that's it. So when Wimbledon is on, I am glued, like glued. So I'm gonna go set myself up downstairs and watch for this afternoon. Whilst I edit my pictures, I'm gonna do a bit of multitasking. Um, and I'm sure you guys probably wanna see this dress in full. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it because I think I'm gonna post it today because I'm running out of pictures. I've used all of my Paris pictures. So I will show you, just in case you don't follow on Instagram, oh, please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, just in case you don't, I will show you all now. Right, so excuse this teeny tiny mirror. It's just because mirrors in the house at the moment are a little bit sparse because we've had to move them all for all the work that's being done. This is a little bit bright. I feel like it's not a true reflection of the colour of the dress. Um, and excuse all the mess behind me. I've been unpacking my new steamer. Um, so this is the dress. It's really cute. I might actually alter this and make it shorter because at the moment I feel like it's not quite short enough because I have really long legs. So I might do that. If I do, I will share that with you guys. But this is from Warehouse. It's like a really nice sort of powder blue with this daisy print. It's the same print as on that little um, like slip midi skirt that I have, which is also Warehouse, but that is navy. They've got a few pieces in this print and it's beautiful. And I have worn it with my um, two Cinco necklaces the and other stories set of two rings and my freshly cleaned Veja Waters. So there's that video over on my IGTV to show you guys how to clean your white trainers. And then my bag, I've left it downstairs, but it's basically my by far Rachel bag in the sort of beigey, grey snakeskin. So that was today's outfit. And yeah, now I'm going to go set myself up for Wimbledon. Anyone. everyone I've kind of skipped ahead a day because it is now Sunday it's about 10 past 10 in the evening ish and actually no it's later than that because I've just watched a lot of Love Island and Love Island went on for a bit longer tonight and um, I spent the day the majority of the day watching that epic men's Wimbledon final it was just exhausting and all I did was sit on the sofa and eat and drink all day um, so I don't think how they feel but it was such good tennis but we're so sad that Wimbledon is over for another year it's literally like my favourite two weeks of the year hopefully we'll get to go next year we always apply but alas it's not meant to be thus far um, so I'm going to end this vlog here, I'm going to go dry my hair because I probably look like Wurzel Gummidge. Nice! Dry my hair, get my PJs on, go to sleep and then start a fresh week tomorrow. So I will catch you guys in the next video, it should be on Sunday. And then next week for another weekly vlog. Bye!